On today's video, the biggest challenge I've ever made in this channel. Literally, you against the champ. On a previous video, we had a sous vide competition, and that was Leo against Angel. Turned out that Angel came out on top. And I said on that video, if we get 50,000 likes, one of you would come and participate against the champ. Today is that day. And here's the deal. I don't care who wins. If this video gets 100,000 likes, one of you will go against the champ. With all that being said, enough talking, let's begin. On this corner, we got the reigning champ, Anjo. That's right, I gave Leo that L, baby. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> and on this corner, representing you, we got Gabby. Welcome, Gabby. Thank you. You were ruthless on your comment. I mean, did you see Angel's mashed potatoes? <laughs> it was pretty bad, everybody. Wow. It was not very good, I gotta say. It was a mistake, all right? I thought I had more time than I did, you know? Okay, listen, enough talking because it's time to get cooking, all right? So here are the rules. Number one, you must cook your steak sous vide. Number two, you must create a side dish. I do not care what your side dish is. It can literally be anything. Underneath here, we have the steak that you guys must cook, all right? So go ahead, open it up. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice, two beautiful ribeyes. Treat it with respect however you want. With all that being said, I'm out. You guys have a good time and I want to eat some steaks. All right, so I'm going to season both my steaks with the classic Guga, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I'm going to season one of them with an additional cumin, chipotle, and smoked Spanish paprika. Just for a little spice. These steaks are looking perfect. Now we're gonna vacuum seal. I'm gonna season my steaks with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. We're gonna get the bag, we're gonna fold it back. Just like that. We're just gonna toss them in. Now we just gotta vacuum seal it, and we go straight into the sous vide. What am I supposed to do? Hello? What does ED mean, Angel? Help me. That's your name, Ed. Oh, got it. So we just close it. <laughs> Maybe this, this, no, this. Do I just close it? Yeah. For real? Mm. Just, no, no, no. Let's use our brains. <laughs> okay. There you have it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the sous vide since none of us have done that. Let that start. I'm gonna put this in the fridge just for a little bit until I get that going. Steaks are bagged up, now the sous vide. So, I mean, this one's heating up and I'm standing here. I feel like I, I'm just gonna use it. No, that's the one I'm using. Get your own! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna wait for it to heat up at least closer to 131, because right now it's at almost 80. Uh, so while that is doing that, I'm gonna work on my sides. We're gonna season our lamb with some paprika, garlic powder, cayenne, coriander, and cinnamon. And that's gonna be our rub. I have to chop some things for my sides, and Guga said I can use any knife. This one looks good. Oh yeah! Okay. And then he said there's a drawer. Yeah. Wait, I'm gonna put these back just so Guga doesn't kill me. I'm gonna just get two cups. I'm gonna wash the rice right here. Got that in, we just need some water. I'll use the same exact cup and I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio. And check out how simple this is. So this is almost the temperature. I'm gonna put them in for about an hour. We'll check them then and sear them off. We're gonna put the ribeyes in the sous vide and I'm putting a timer for one hour. My side dish is gonna be a roasted red bell pepper hummus. Start by blending the tahini along with lemon juice. Okay, so for my side dish, I'm gonna be doing a lamb nigiri. So I'm gonna basically cut up the lamb a little bit, take a little bit of the fat off. Now, I wanna keep as much meat on this as I possibly can. So now I'm gonna add the olive oil, garlic, cumin, and salt, and then we're gonna whip that up a little bit longer. So I cleaned up my lamb, and now I'm just gonna cut it up into little lollipops. I'm gonna salt it first, and then I'm gonna add the rub that I made, and your lamb heart is done. I'm gonna flame roast these red bell peppers until I get a nice deep char on the outside and a nice roast on the inside. My red peppers are done, so I'm just gonna turn this off before they obliterate themselves. All right, we got the charcoal in the grill. Now say hello to my little friend. I don't want that. Grill marks no matter what. Gonna put the rest of them in. And now we let it cook until it reaches about 135, max 145. Let me just squeeze it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Love that. What's this guy looking at? Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut all of the meat off of the bone. That's exactly how I wanted it. That's perfectly cooked. We have our rice done. I'm gonna add my sushi vinegar, guys. Chef Hero actually told me about this and I've been in love with it ever since, so 
Mix it, mix it. All that's left for my hummus is the chickpeas and the roasted bell peppers. Whip, and then it should be good. So now I got these little tools. This helps me make the nigiri. You can put it on top of the rice bowl. What? <laughs> okay, the consistency is looking pretty good. Let's give it a try. It's there. Just needs a tiny bit more salt, I think, and then I can plate it, garnish it, eat it. <laughs> and my hummus is done. Put rice first. I'll press it down a little bit with this little press. I'll put a little bit of the lamb chunks. I'll put some more rice, and then I'll push it down again. Boom. And this is exactly what I want. I'm gonna use this eel sauce. I just found it in the refrigerator, and this is delicious. And my side dish is done. My steak should be done. Just have a hole in it. No, it's just juices. I don't want to have another Leo, another Leo mistake. Because I see the, the steaks already started releasing some juices. So I, this is not that the steak is releasing juices. <laughs> that is because the bag is ripped. All right, well, the steak timer went off while we were working on the lamb. We're going to open this up. We're going to sear it up on the grill. But first, I want to make a little compound butter. We're going to crush some garlic. Make sure it's nice and crushed. Crush just like I crushed Leo in the last one. Crush like how I'm gonna crush you in this one. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put the butter in now. You can go ahead and toss in this. Okay, we have our steaks. They're ready to be cut open and seared. Before we take them outside, we are going to pat them dry. So the steaks are fully cooked. We got our butter getting made, but let's open them up and we are gonna wipe them down. I've been wanting to say this all day. I know my steaks don't look that good right now, but watch this. All right, everybody, here we have round two. You guys were the judge on the first round, and this is actually a subscriber against Angel. Oh, okay. Mm. To keep things fair, we're gonna have three-point system. Taste equals two points. Whoever has the best presentation will get one point. Uno. And the very last point is going to be creativity. And remember, everybody, whoever wins, you're gonna have a chance to go against them. 100,000 likes on this video, we're gonna do another one, and it can literally be you against the winner. Round three, baby. Hey, let's go. I, I'm just happy. I don't have to cook it. We just gotta eat, boys. <laughs> huh? the best part. Yeah, we yeah, got let's it easy go. today. Oh, all we gotta do is eat. Yo, yeah, I love this, everybody. Let's keep this going. <laughs> Enough talking, let's give it a go. First, presentation. 2K, who has the best presentation for you? This dish catches my eye a little bit more, has more colors, has more variety to it. So presentation-wise, I might have to go whoever cooked this one. Mmm, fair enough. How about you, David? I agree with 2K. This one has a lot more color. I agree that it does catch my eye. I'm gonna go with this one. Round two, creativity. 2K, which one is the most creative? Creativity-wise, this one has to win just because of the rice cakes. Depending on what's inside of that uh, onigiri over there. <laughs> could win uh, creativity. There's one thing that I am addicted to that you guys don't know. Hummus. Creativity, I'll go with this one. Yeah, so you're going against everything we do. I, I guess so. Whatever you guys say, I'm going against you too. With that being said, enough. Let's go for it. The cut was pretty nice. Of course, baby, it's sous vide. Enough talking, let's give it a try, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Whoever cooked that knows this man, because that tastes like a Guga steak to me. <laughs> it's pretty good, but I'm not gonna lie. The tenderness, incredible. Taste of charcoal on there, also incredible. What it is lacking in is salt. I would say they just need a little bit more salt. And it would be better for you? It would have been perfect. Yeah, me as well. Okay, before we vote, we have to try the other steak as well. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. God damn. Has it a spiciness in the end? Do you guys feel it? It tastes like it wants to be spicy, but it's not. Yeah, I'm going for another one. What do you think, 2K? I can't, I can't put my finger on it. Now, I'm going to say it's pretty good, everybody. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I'm a big, big fan as much as I am this one. Really? I, I have to say, I like the simplicity of this one, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Always a way to go with steaks, in my opinion. I got to disagree with 2K over there, only because, although I do like a simple steak, this one's got a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of a, like a pepperiness to it, a little bit of char. Seems like that person right there seasoned the steak quite differently than the other one. Yes. Sure did. Mmm, very nice. So now we try the side dish to do a complete experience. Please, let's go. The side dish looks sick. Okay. <gasps> don't be Leo. I won't put Leo. Yeah, don't, don't be Leo. Look moist. That's what you want, everybody. 
anybody, uh, you want, if you want to eat this, it needs to be kind of a little bit moist. Is it okay? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what they put inside, but let's try. You guys ready for it? I don't know. I got a little surprise poking out here, so. Oh, boy. We'll yeah. see. Hey, poking out surprise is always good, everybody. Because <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Pause. <laughs> Enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Mm. That is not teriyaki sauce. <laughs> very, very sweet. It is very sweet. I say go with the sauce all day. Really? Mm. No, no, absolutely not. No. The sauce, although it tastes great, I like the sweetness. It killed whatever was inside. But uh, the bite alone, whatever meat that was inside. I think the sauce is a must. Mm. Sweetness, I can still taste the meat inside a little bit salty, so it balances out and goes perfectly with the rice. It was a winner in my book. Very nice. Let's give this a go. You guys ready for it? Absolutely. All right, enough talking. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. I think this person understands that I enjoy hummus. I'm, I might be a little bit biased, but that's very nice. That's good. I was hoping that rice cake was going to win, but that hummus, that took the spotlight for me. Time to vote. Best overall side dish and steak together since it's all tied up. 2K. This one. All right, fair enough. David, please, I want to know you. I'm going to go uh, hard disagree on that. This one blew it out of the water with uh, with flavor alone. Now everything is on me? Yep. I enjoy both of them quite a bit. But to me, in the end, it's gonna come down to the side dish. And here's the deal. If you grab this nigiri here and you compare it with anyone else, it's going to be very, very similar in texture. The only issue I have here with the hummus is that the hummus is quite runny. See, it's very runny. There's no texture in here. So whoever it is that made this one here is today's winner. Mm. I will say this, remember, if this video gets 100,000 likes, it is your turn, everybody, to go against the champ. I'm curious to find out who the champ is. I have no idea yet. Hey, fair fight. That was good a job. good job. No, no, good job. But I think for the next round, we should team up against the game. Let's do it.